Hey everybody, it's Ephraim225. Hope y'all had a nice Christmas. Now that mine's over with, it's time for another Let's Play. This time, for the PlayStation Portable, I bring you Field Commander, Sony's 2006 carbon copy of Advance Wars. I guess since they saw how well Dual Strike was doing, they decided, hey, let's make a clone of Advance Wars with absolutely no none of what made Advance Wars actually good. So basically, it's what... Uh, Advance Wars would be like if Nintendo made another one in 2017. <laughs> Nintendo, please make another Advance Wars! This is all I've got to hold me over! <laughs> I'm joking, of course. So this game, like I said, it's a total clone of Advance Wars, right down to the CO powers, the terrain, everything. But it has a couple of interesting ideas, although... The, the map editor is completely worthless, nobody knew about this game, so there's no real online um, player base. I had this for the PSP back in the day, before I sold my PSP. Anyhow, there's a tutorial, but since all of the mechanics are lifted from Advance Wars, I could just uh, uh, clue well, you in on them as we go. You've been recruited by the advanced tactical But first the plot. You got to love these uh, the acronyms, right? Organizations whose goals include terrorism, inciting wars, black market trading and global domination. Basically the US Democratic Party. You command a division of highly trained what? soldiers. What? The enemies are colored blue in this game. What it, what joke did you expect me to make? You in this task. Atlas has seen fit to equip you with a complement of vehicles and weapons that combine the military might and technology of more than 50 allied nations. Atlas was established by the Alliance of Nations as part of a secret provision under the Articles of Independence. They would never do this in real life. An independent organization that would be funded by all of the Allied Nations, with the authority to carry out intelligence gathering and combat actions against those enemy forces that legitimate governments could not combat or would not acknowledge. As is our organization, all of our operations and actions have and shall always remain covert in nature. Commanding giant armies is very covert after all. Cover up our presence in the media and take credit for our actions as necessary. Anonymity is our ally, just as quick and decisive action free of bureaucratic intervention is our weapon. Oh, so basically the internet. And hey, they're calling me commander just like Battalion Wars. I wonder if they copied that too. Battalion Wars was Glad out by that point. Again, Commander. As of now, your training is officially over, and I'm ready to hand over your first real assignment, so pay attention. We have serious matters at hand. If you've picked up a newspaper over the last few days, I'm sure you heard about the missing Professor Eve Haroldson. Paramedic! The intelligence department recently received Seriously, doesn't that look like paramedic from Metal Gear Solid 3? The caller ah, maybe not. The scientist being held hostage, but the phone abruptly cut out. We believe the scientist is Eve Haroldson. We traced the phone logs to these abandoned headquarters 300 miles from where Dr. Haroldson was last seen. Your mission is to capture the enemy headquarters and free... If it's Dr. abandoned, then why are we, like, sending in the army? Oh, wait, you know enemy units are here, but that doesn't exactly make it abandoned now, does it? And now we have the most generic Russian name ever. for sacrificing his own troops. While brutal, his methods are... Sacrificing your own troops. He's a former uh, willing to risk everything. Isn't that what any commander would do? Okay, so here's the thing about this game. Instead of, like, all of the CO powers and stuff being attached to, like, the actual characters that you could get attached to and have personality and stuff... No, the powers are all attached to these divisions. But remember, they're all good men, Commander, and they're your responsibility. Good luck. And you'll see that the divisions in this game are like total ripoffs of Advanced Wars COs. Like, the Deep Freezers are basically Andy. Seriously, look at this CO power. All units healed 2 HP? All units healed 4 HP? It's totally Andy. And the other guy's uh, division is basically the most blandy thing ever. It's just a generic power boost. It's uh I don't think there's any I don't think there's anyone in Advance Wars that bland. Like everyone in Advance Wars has like a purpose, basically. Well except for Flack. Nobody likes him. There are other uh there's <laughs> there are other divisions available. These guys are completely overpowered because they have plus one movement power day to day. 
and their CO power doubles the movement range of one unit, and their super CO power doubles the movement range of all units. Suffice to say, this is completely overpowered and we won't be using them unless the game asks us to. Anyhow, let's get started. Hello, Commander. Oh, yeah. yeah, I hope nobody cares about the plot, because I'm probably going to skip most of the, di of the dialogue boxes. Anyhow, the units are, are should be pretty familiar. You've got, from top to bottom on this factory list here, infantry, mechs, recons, APCs, tanks, and anti-air tanks. That's it. Capturing is the same, and this this animation is slow. Let me change that. That's better. Anyhow, there are a couple of differences between Advanced Wars and this. Um, and a new mechanic that they brought in is the ability for tanks to attack the terrain itself. Let me demonstrate. Yeah, I just destroyed that tree. No big deal. There are also dense forests and light forests. And there are dense cities, which are basically regular cities, and light cities. I don't think there are any here. Oh, a sparse city, excuse me. A sparse city is what you get when you uh, use a tank cannon to blow up a city. Because, you know, you totally want to do that. Just, you know blow up a city, all the people in it, you know, uh, you know, uh, tank commander things. So yeah, Fog of War is the same as it was in Advance Wars, and so are a bunch of other things, actually. Recons can actually carry, uh, an infantry, and APCs can carry two infantry, so that's, so that's something that's a little different. I see we found enemy units already. I kind of like this game for its um, ideas more so than its difficulty, because this game is completely easy. They have no idea how to design an actual challenging stage. Except for one level, which is completely and totally busted, which will... <laughs> Intel reports indicate yeah, shut up, you. Oh, hey, an in-engine cutscene. That's pretty cool. It's also pretty cool that the 3D models are different between the factions, you know, for the units. So that's nice. Anyhow, where was I? Oh yeah, mechs are way different from in Advance Wars, though. They are, uh, their bazooka weapon is actually an indirect weapon, so that'll be pretty cool to, to see, to use. And they have one additional ability, which I will show off at a later in a later stage. It's it's even worse than the Fog of War mechanics in this game. Fog of War differs uh, from Advance Wars in one significant way. You know how in Advance Wars, where you can uh, where an enemy stops moving if it runs into a um, a hidden unit that you couldn't see because of the fog. Well, same same goes in this game, except the ambush, as it is called, occurs if you uh, happen to pass by a hidden unit. Not just if you run into it, if you pass by it. So yeah, it, it's completely, uh, you know, I think this enemy is actually going to have it happen to him when he walks next to the grunt that I put in the forest. And, uh, let's see here. This should do. So this game can be kind of okay to play if you're interested in just, like, you know, something basic. Something you can relax with. Nothing too difficult. Then again, you could just play Dual Strike. <laughs> hey, see, it, hap it happened to this guy right here. Is walking right by and oh there's an enemy next to me that I wasn't going to run into but I'd better stop for some reason so I hope I don't take too long in actually clearing this map because this is one of the maps like it's the first one and it can actually take a little while to clear oh yeah you gotta love the sparse amount of blood on the animations that's 
because when I, uh, I tried a test recording of this, there's the annoying enemy that, one of the enemies on this map tends to just, like, where can I build from? Just here? Okay. One of the enemies on this map has a nasty habit of going off on his own and getting lost. And then I have to search him out in order to complete the map because I didn't eat damage. What? That's a lot. There are also some particular units that we'll see later on that, that have the potential to be extremely annoying. Let's get through as many of these enemies as we can. Ugh, I'm not a fan of that sound effect for when uh, a foot soldier gets shot, actually. But I can handle it. Oh yeah, they have joining, they have capturing, they have uh, everything, basically. Sir. Sir. Your indirect units can also attack the terrain, so setting up... Like, like attacking the terrain... It, it's kind of sort of a neat idea, like if you really wanted to just cut through like a dense forest like that in this map. Like in the center of this map, there's this giant forest that you might think about cutting through, but... Oh. Hello? Shut up, you. Ah, it's guarded. How fantastic. Let's see here, uh... How do I want to handle this? Well, I guess we'll just drop a bunch of infantry in front of their HQ and then hope one of them captures in time. See, just like Advance Wars, the same strategies. Well, if you're lazy like me, I guess. I have absolutely no idea what sort of damage chart that or matchup system this game is running, by the way. The basics are the same as Advance Wars, but, you know, sometimes I wonder. Let's get some tanks going here, we can finally do that. The enemies also make their moves pretty quickly if you set the animations to fast forward. So that's good, no need to take up all of our time with this animation business. And if it looks like this map is taking a while, yeah, the first map does take kind of a little bit of time. But the other maps won't be quite as long and boring, I'm sure. Well, they'll all be boring, because this game is super, super easy, except for the one map I mentioned, which was so difficult that I decided to submit it for a ROM hack that I also happen to have a Let's Play of on this channel, so if you want a preview of that, <laughs> you should be able to figure out which map it is I'm talking about. So this shouldn't last more than a couple more turns. Oh, hey, I can demo the indirect capabilities of the Seven damage, whoa. It's almost overpowered to have your mechs be indirect in this game, because there's a there's a particular CO power that I never checked out. But we'll be sure to see what that's all about later on. Oh, that's a surprise. I'm pretty sure that recon had a unit in it. Oh, don't tell me that. Range on the mech is two to three spaces, by the way. That was probably obvious. La, 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 la. Just cleaning up here. Oh, left him alive with one HP. I always hated that. Sir. 
almost done. This is taking longer than I expected it to. I hope these are all the enemy units, because it would suck if I had to, like, scout out and find the last one. Well, hopefully the game won't do that to me. You may have won this time, but I assure you, it won't be so easy next time. Okay, good. That's all of them. Well done, Commander. You show guts and a mind for military tactics out there. As such, I call your first mission a success. Eve has been questioned and is at home now. Because she's a valuable asset to her country and ours, we implanted a tracking device on her to prevent further situations of this magnitude. <laughs> implanted a tracking device. So anyhow, that's Field Commander. I hope it held your interest for at least a little bit. I'll be playing through the rest of the campaign, so look forward to it. prepare for your next op.